Republicans had watched Donald Trump unleash powerful forces inside their party for more than a year. On election day last year, the question for many inside the GOP was how to deal with those forces once Trump had lost. Few had figured out what it would mean for the party if he won. Democrats were planning. There were lists of cabinet secretaries and the challenge of breaking the deadlock that set in between President Obama and the GOP Congress once President Hillary Clinton was in office. Few had figured out what it would mean for the party if she lost. Over the past year, Republicans have struggled to come together and govern effectively. Democrats have struggled to unite around a common cause or move on from bitter infighting. But both parties may finally be figuring out how to exist in the Trump era. Republicans. No if, ands or buts, it's Trump's party. New York Representative Chris Collins made the smartest bet of his political career when he became the first House Republican to endorse Trump during the 2016 campaign. My constituents love Donald Trump, the Republican said in a recent interview, noting that his loyalty is not lost back home in his suburban Buffalo, New York, district. The number of people that come up to me all the time, and I'm most surprised by how many have young kids, and say, my 8-year-old son, my 12-year-old daughter, they love Donald Trump. Collins' enthusiasm and support for Trump is in striking contrast to the national political climate, where President Trump's approval rating hovers around 38 percent. The 2016 presidential election divided the nation, and at the one-year mark of that election, those divisions endure. But inside the Republican Party, in the halls of Congress, and among the party's base activists, Trump's command over the GOP is nearly cemented.